Also new tonight, a North Spokane woman is thankful to have her car back days after it was stolen from her home, but it's what she found inside her car that's throwing her for a loop. Patrick Erickson joins us live tonight. Patrick, this was a pretty strange discovery. Yeah, it absolutely is. It actually started early this morning when a deputy pulled over a car that had a broken tail light. When he pulled the car over, found out it was stolen. That's when he arrested the driver and inside of his pocket found other car keys. Those car keys led to other stolen cars. And when one of those owners got their car back, they also got a surprise inside. Saturday afternoon, I couldn't believe it. Billy Joe Boren's car disappeared from in front of her family's Mead area home. Then only a few days later, early this morning, deputies were able to recover her Subaru and Billy Joe was able to get her car back, picking it up from the impound lot. The wheels had been painted, the steering column had been damaged, and inside... I wouldn't have found this. <laughs> drug paraphernalia, ammunition, clothes and electronics, all which appear to have been stolen. They did leave us with a nice first aid kit, though. But it's what was above the driver's side visor that stunned her. Sorry for taking it. I'm in a bad lifestyle and needed to get away. I was cold and hungry. I'm truly sorry, no name. A note, apparently written by the contrite car thief. I mean, they must have a heart, good heart in there somewhere and they just can't get out of what they're in, I guess. I don't know. I thought it was a good gesture, but it didn't really change anything. <laughs> this morning, 25-year-old Jonathan Cantu was booked into the Spokane County Jail on multiple charges, including theft of the car. The sheriff's office describes him as a prolific thief. And Billy Joe, she just hopes this is a wake-up call, and he's now able to turn his life around. That's obviously not their first and not their last, so you can tell there's a little bit of remorse there. So I hope they get better soon. Well, the sheriff's department tells me they're going to pick up everything that was left in her car, including all of that drug paraphernalia. As for Mr. Cantu, right now he remains in the Spokane County Jail. Reporting live tonight, Patrick Erickson, KHQ Local News.